the first thing that I'm going to do is <laughs> the first thing is check whether you have some tests. Let's have a look. Fingers crossed. <gasps> oh boy. What's going on guys? Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Amigos Code. In this video, I'm going to reveal code from our community. So on this code, which has around 14,000 people, I believe, I've posted on Code Reveals channel if people wanted me to review their code. And I've got a bunch of people saying that they want me to review their source code. So in this video, I'm going to do that. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Literally, just take one second and smash the like button so I can keep on recording videos like this. Also, I want to give a shout out to both Timur and Sami. So they are the admin servers for Discord. And to be honest, they've done an amazing job and Discord has come a long way. So there's lots of improvements. Uh, people are really, really engaged, always asking questions. So have a look. So just recently, a question been asked for one of my courses. We've got tickets. Uh, so in here, have a look, tickets. So this is a bot that basically, if you have any issues with the courses or you have a question or anything, you can just open a ticket and one of us will be able to help you. So in this video, let's actually kick off by reviewing. So let's, so let's code review. So let's review Pedro Carrara since you were the first one to answer. So in here, I've already cloned his repo. So Pedro is from Brazil, by the way. Hola, to the way. So he's from Brazil and um yeah let's just go into it and let's see what you have pedro i'm already within intellij and one thing that i'm going to say to you pedro is where is your readme like there's no readme in here like if i was to interview you i wouldn't know what this is repo is all about so if i had your cv i'd probably go to your repo and see what you've been up to and right now there's no information about what this repository is all about. So fix that, add some uh, information about what this repo is. And also have a look, system.properties. What is this in here? C.SQL, create.SQL. So I guess this is for, for H2, right? So this should be under maybe resources folder. So that's the best place for it. And also the name for this repo, so order delivery service. I don't think that's the best name. So work on the name, especially the camo case in here. So please um, give it a better name. Right, let's go into SRC. The first thing that I'm going to do is, <laughs> the first thing is check whether you have some tests. Let's have a look. Fingers crossed. Oh boy, no tests. Seriously, Pedro, how come no tests, man? Like, ah, oh, I'm disappointed, seriously. Wallahi, I'm disappointed. What is this, man? Have some tests, like test your code. It's not difficult. And if you wanna learn more about testing of a course on my website, teaching you everything you need, to, you need to know about testing. But for me, if I was, if I'm reviewing this code, I don't need to go into every single bit of logic that you have. I just need to write the tests and see the code coverage. And from there, I can say, okay, so there are few ways or few places where I need to look at. But looking at this, it's a no-no. Cool. Let's have a look at main resources. Nice. Application of properties, dev, prod, and test. Beautiful stuff. So well done there. So this is where you've got your configuration for connecting to the database, uh, server ports and environment variables and basically the properties for your application uh, depending on the environment which are which you are running which is really nice then java configs controllers dto's entities repositories services good structure there let's have a look configs so this is mainly for security which i don't need to look at controllers order and product nice names Let's have a look at all the controller. So in here, let's just investigate this. Right, so the first thing here is, this should be API forward slash, and then add some versioning, V1 and then orders. Also here, 
this should be constructor injected. And the reason why it's not is because you haven't tested your code. So make it final. So always prefer immutability. And there you go. And if you want, you can basically drag this down. And I, I think you don't need even that um, anymore. So this is much neater. And if you are testing, then you can test the um, if you are mocking, basically, you can mock the or the service in here. So get mapping, that's fine. Uh, I think this is some swagger stuff which you are using for documenting your code or API. My bad. So this is really nice. And then, so here you have, okay, so that's cool. So why are you doing this? Um, so if you insert probably... Yeah, probably just just return like the ID. You don't need to return the entire DTO in here. And also here, so this, I think you don't need this. So this should be without that. And all of that logic should go under the service. So here, set delivered, right? Because if I go back, have a look. You say not found. So order not found. So you try a bunch of things and then you catch and then you say, so have a look, you catch the exception and then you say that this is an order not found. No, this is incorrect. So what you do here is you go back to the service, find by ID or else throw an exception. So let's say that this is a custom exception, which you should, but it's not. So new illegal state exception and then uh, not found. Basically the ID and then not found, right? So this is much neater. And also you don't need this just like that. And if I put this on a new line so you can see properly, much, much better. Have a look, right? So instead of saying try and catch, usually don't do it. Then you set the order, delivered, and yeah, that's fine, cool. So this is your controller. I think product controller, let's have a look. So again, this should be constructor, API v1, and this looks good. So let's have a look at DTOs order DTO, that is fine. This is not needed. And then instant, this is a no-no. So this is a no-no. So you should use local date time, for example. And yeah, so that is it. And I think all of these, so right here, all of these can be final, just like that. And looking good. I don't, know, I don't think you need this right here so that can go as well and job done have a look it's much simpler so product detail i think here the same thing so probably you don't need this in here and also when working with money always use a big and then decimal so big decimal right so this is the data type that you should be using cool and remove this in here. So entities, let's have a look, order, okie dokie. So this again, local date time, order status, anenum, product, uh, price, big decimal. And I think those are the improvements, repository. So here, okay, that's really good. Select distinct from where, so you can see all of this is going away from my screen. So let's, let's do this. So select from order join where order by and then ascending. So this is much easier for someone to read. And one thing that you've done is you've added the query here, but not here. So also add the query in here at and then query and then your query because then you know the dependent on this name in here to give you the query that you want. So usually this is bad practice. Always have your JPQL queries in here. So the same for product. Let's have a look product, the same here at query, and then have the query annotation and the actual query. Cool, services. We look at all the service. So, okay. So in here again, so let me just take this and put it on a new line. So if you have uh, long constructors, just do this, easy to read. And then this is a no-no, maybe use a builder, right? So why are you passing no? Just use a builder in here. 
then instant.now, so this should be, so here, this is what I was saying. So clock, or actually local date time, dot, or local date, I think, or if you need time, just say time, dot, and then now, and here you can pass clock. Now, the reason why clock is important here is, is because now we have full control of this date. If you want to mock, advance the clock, reset, and whatnot, you can do it. So here, this should also basically be in here. We're going to say private, final, so constructor injected, delete this, and we also want the clock, so private, final, clock, just like that, and add this to constructor, and bingo, have a look. So the reason why you're not doing this is because you're not testing your code. Now, obviously, clock here, it's red, is because there's, there isn't a bean for it, but hopefully you get the idea. So now I can basically mock. So if I want to have control of the clock and the time, I can do so. So don't use instant.now. And I think, so let's have a look, product service. This is very simple. Again, private final and then construct injected and off you go. So I think overall, not bad, not bad. Just a couple improvements and also get ignore, which is nice. Cool, man. So if you just uh, basically improve on what I've said, I think you'll have a good project. <sighs> Tests. I'm watching. Tests. And message me on Discord and let me know that you added some tests because otherwise you'll be in big trouble. Cool. The next person is... So let's have a look. In here we have Sujat Ali. So Sujat is a software engineer from Pakistan. So he sent me the Im the uh, invitation already. So I'm just going to clone that and open up IntelliJ and ADSM Lottery. That's the README. Nothing in here. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, Sujat. Uh, yeah, so put some effort into your README. And ADSM, what is what does what it stands for? And then the project, the, fo the, the package name is Lottery. Yeah, so give some information. What is this? Is is this lottery for what, right? So it's not really uh, straightforward in there. Get ignore. Nice. Let's have a look at your SRC tests. <laughs> Bro, you better have tests. Seriously. No tests. Oh, boy. I'm disappointed on all of you guys so far, man. Please test your code, guys. Test your code. Let's have a look. Resources. Okay, application.properties, cool. That is some stuff that you've done, you've configured. That's nice. Um, not really interested in that. Let's have a look, the, pack the, the package structure, config, controller, entity, exception. Good. Property, what is property? Not too sure. Repository, fine. Service, utils, cool. So let's just start with, so config, I guess this is some swagger config, which is fine, just configuration. Controller, let's just pick one, file controller. So let's have a look at this one. So this one, so you've got REST controller, again here, API, V1, and then upload file, upload file like this, right? So dash and then file in here. Um, and then, so this should be again, constructor injected just like this and let's have a look post mapping and then you basically okay files should, should, this should be file I'm, I'm presuming right because it's a file that you're passing not files so i think this should be file and okay you've got some stuff in here so upload file and then you download URI. Okay, so where you can download it from, I, I, I presume. All right, cool. And then let's have a look. Okay, so one thing which try, which I can see is wrong here is API v1 and then upload file. If I take this, have a look. You've got download file. So the, the path will be API v1 upload file, download file. It's wrong. Okay, so just work on the structure in here. So maybe here you could say file and then here you have post mapping. So post 
and then post mapping so here okay upload multiple files okay just improve on the name this should be this arrays.stream and method referencing here so then here so the path for this would just be download so down load right so you've got file upload and download i think this is a much better naming convention and cool so let's just have a look at the so i think game controller let's have a look so here right so one thing which i can see immediately is so one is you're not using this nor this so that can go and for some reason here you are using constructor injection and then on the other one you weren't so there's there's no consistency here man so work on that then here try and catch like response entity game already in used so this right here so try and catch don't do this so this should be inside of the service so in here so try right okay so you're trying you're trying this and then you save but here the only thing that can throw an exception is so let's have a look this guy so this doesn't even throw an exception the only thing that can throw an exception is this save so if you can't save and then you catch catch the exception e and then you yeah uh, i think what you want is basically check whether you can do it and if you can you then say throw new and then game i think it's this exception here as you add in here right so do all the checks and then if you cannot throw an exception and then you can get rid of all of this so that can go that can go that can go right something along these lines in here with a message obviously right so basically this is not valid code but hopefully you get the point let me just comment this out and back to game controller so don't do this so this should go and go 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 and bingo so save this guy throws no you don't throw here so you just leave it like that and you basically throw the exception if i throw the exception here is you don't have to throw this method doesn't have to throw the exception and also i can see that you are overriding from iGame service for so from from for each service do you have um, an interface let's have a look service game i game service no store i store service i store screen service upload i game image service no 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 this is wrong so don't do this so for, for services it's fine to have one service maybe if you have for example uh, sms sender that is a good interface name because then you can have twilio whatsapp telegram discord whatever right oh actually discord doesn't send sms's but you get the gist no whatsapp but i'm just trying to give you an example here right so again so in your iGame service i think yeah so you throw in all of these exceptions yeah please do not because yeah this is wrong absolutely wrong absolutely wrong cool uh so also for void how many how many rows affected maybe integer but yeah i think there's some improvements there that needs to be made let's have a look entity game game setup location person so person has address so i think maybe an address package that would make more sense uh, user so this is for security stuff and then abstract entity why abstract entity abstract entity change by uh okay this this name is just too too vague i think you need a better name in here and upload response file so this should belong to somewhere i guess maybe store because store you have no no, no not store sorry I saw somewhere where you upload. All right, cool. So anyways, let's move on. So let me just have a cup of tea. Bismillah. Mm, this is nice. Ooh. So moving on to, so entity, 
exception like exceptions. So bad request exception. Nice response status. Cool. So you are changing the response. File storage. Huh? You not? So here this will be a five hundred. So let's have a look at my file not found. Seriously? No, I don't think that's correct. That name there. Game number not found. Okay, not found. So you need this as well, right? So this, go back, paste that in. This should be a not found. So you want to send a 404 back to the client with a different message here, reason. Uh, something not found, right? Or instead of the message there, you could have the constructor with the message which has been passed to the super which is runtime so this is a runtime exception you want to pass that message and then when you throw the exception you can pass the message inside so have a look game not found and then the reason why it's not found so this is the better way of doing things and also like indentation like come on i can see with my naked eye that you need to format your code but again you need some work on exceptions property what is this Okay, um, maybe configuration, that's what you need to call it, and that should be under config, maybe here, refactor, and then config, cool. I think that's what you need. Also, probably not need for this. Also, configuration component, they're the same thing. Have a look, configuration, it's an alias for component. So that can go there. And job done, cool. Yeah, so then you have eyes or interfaces for each service. Please don't do it. And here you have a abstract class. I can see. Let's have a look. Empty. Why? Why is empty? Not sure why. Let's have a look at the oops. Beans in here. Person service extends base service. Hmm. Why? I'm not sure. Again, so all of this. So at auto wired so command w control g all of that can go can go go one private final and here you put this into the constructor there we go and job done and what you do you basically take this and you want things to be readable just oops not like that so like that, and here I've missed that one. So this is better. Now here, this is not used at all. So that can go and that can go and also here. And what's shocking to me is that here, person, repository, DAO, address repository, address DAO, attribute DAO, person attribute DAO. No, you do this, person repository address repository, attribute repository, so on and so forth. Yeah, please. And then you've got some logic here, which I'm not going to go in detail. Uh, so please attest to all of this stuff because yeah, cool. So I think, and then utils is utils. Okay. So there's a bunch of things, um, start up in it, uh, which you're printing image for the root. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure uh, if you need this or not, but cool. Hope that you, hopefully you've learned something here and uh, I'm not trying to, you know, make fun of you or anything like that. I'm just trying to help you basically give you some feedback on what you have. Right. So next we have, if I scroll down, so there's a bunch of people and I'll be able to, Oh, Murillo right here. What's going on Murillo? Uh, there's a bunch of people, but, I won't be able to review every every single every single one of you here, but here we have Matthew, and it says Mama Samba. My name is Matthew. My project was inspired from your full stack Spring Boot React. Awesome, and also helped me to land a software engineering position at Johns Hopkins at this company in here. So this is really really good stuff, man. Well done, and there's the repo there. So let's just clone the repo. Okie dokie. So I've got the repo in here. And the first thing that 
I see is that here, the readme is so nice. So CICD passing, you've got link to your uh, stock made tracks graphics card from leading retailers and provides alerts when they are in stock. Awesome. So if I'm looking at your stuff, I know exactly what this is all about. Technologies, Spring Boot, Spring Web Dependency, Frontend React, GitHub Actions, Secrets, Docker, AWS, the architecture, that's kind of nice, using Jib. Okay, cool, interesting, and some screenshots. Nice, I, I like this. So let's have a look at the link. So if I click on it, cool, so this is the application. So here we have this graphics card, the price is X, in-store available, online and available. And these are both and available in store. I kind of like this. It's nice. Uh, no wonder you, why you got a job. So if I click on it, it works. Some description, last ability in store. You can add to cart and whatnot. Good project, man. Well done. But really, let's have a look at your code, shall we? So back to IntelliJ. And let me close README, open a project, and in here, git ignore so that's fine uh github so this is for work workflows build and deploy let's have a look so java 11 and generate the build number doc login some secrets good stuff and then using profiles amazing deploy to elastic beanstalk awesome and the build i think it's yeah it's just basically clean and then package making sure that you can build the project nice this is good stuff. Next, Elastic Beanstalk. I think this is just some configuration. Uh, latest, I guess for demo or test environments is fine for you to use this. Uh, and also the account number. Is this the account number? I'm um, no, 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 no. That, that cannot be the, the, yeah, probably not. Oh, that's a bucket actually. So the bucket will be different per environment. So just, just, just be careful with this. But yeah, all, all in all, Quite nice, cool. Let's have a look at SRC front end. So this is some JavaScript stuff. So I'm not going to judge you on this, but oh, okay, cool. So nice and clean. Scroll to the top, navbar switch. Okay, that's that's very clean. That that is very clean JavaScript uh, code in here. So maybe you could just actually no, sorry. That that's that's clean. Well done. That's clean. Uh, test. Do you have tests for JavaScript? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, no tests. Oh, come on, Matthew. No tests. Seriously. You should test even your JavaScript code as well, man. All right, cool. So let's basically go into the meat, shall we? So tests. I hope that you have tests and I pray that you have tests. Dun, 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 dun. Seriously, you disappointed me, man. Oh boy, no tests. No one has wrote any tests, man. What is this? What's wrong with you guys? Come on, man. This is not. This is not what I'm teaching you. You should write tests, man. Write tests. I'm joking, man. I'm, I'm happy for you because you got your job and and whatnot. But um, you know. <laughs> you know that you should be writing tests. <laughs> I think by the, by now you should you should know that if you write tests, then you make me so happy uh, because I love testing. And um, yeah, if you work in a company where there's no tests, please, um, you know, change, change that culture and uh, have an impact, right? So imagine you, you know, boarding on a plane that hasn't been tested, would you? No, you'd never do that. So the same with your code. Bismillah. Mm. This is so good, man. Cool. So let's have a look. Main resources, application dot properties. Empty, I guess is because you don't connect to any database. That's fine. Java controller model service. Very simple. Okay. Yeah, very small application. Let's have a look. Stock controller. This is neat. This is neat. Have a look. Injected here, the constructor. The controller, 
the responsibility of it is just to send to the service. So enter your architecture, guys, right? So it sends to the service. It doesn't do any logic or anything like that. It just sends it to the service. So have a look. Return. Stock service get date. Uh, probably a better name here. Uh, get date. Yeah, probably better name, but uh, here as well. So uh, at request mapping API V1 and then stocks, for example. So at uh, request mapping and then API V1 and then stocks. Stocks, for example. And here you could just get rid of that. So it becomes this. And yeah, that's much cleaner. And also this should be long. So just in case that this is null, right? So primitives cannot be null. And then do you want to throw an exception here? Probably not. You don't throw an exception there. And this is now complaining because I guess you're just, you know, bubbling up. Now, that's my guess, but we'll come that in a second. But all in all, I like your controller. Well done. Let's have a look at the service. So stock service and right. So this is the issue right here. So get by skew. So here, this should be like that and then or else so you've done the right thing but this should be a, a, a custom exception right a not found exception as uh, i think is sujat uh, or ali had in in the pre so the previous person that i've reviewed right so here this should be uh, a custom exception so here a runtime exception illegal state but and also maybe just add the id which is not found but this, this is not this. This, this, this should be a 404, a custom exception, uh, back to the client. But all in all, I think it's good. So, you know, private methods. That's nice, and it's nice and simple. So I guess send webhooks. So using disk. Oh, okay, cool. Right, cool. I like this. So you're not leaking the webhook information or the token. And yeah, so you basically, that's, that's kind of a nice project, actually, integrated with the Discord. I've got something very similar for my courses. When someone buys for my course, I get notified on on Discord. So it's very similar to this, but this is for your stock. So nice. So here, I think also maybe try and use uh, OpenFay or... Yeah, so I'm, I'm not too sure what client is this. So what what is this? So oh okay. So this is this is the official Discord. So it's fine. Ignore me. That's fine. This is from Discord. Cool. So this is fine. But again, yeah, so how would you test this method? So you need to be careful in here, right? So how would you test this method? Uh because you can't really mock at this point because you're inside of this method. Uh and you need to pass it into the constructor so that you can mock it. So this is one to watch out for, but all in all good. So check availability, that's fine in here. Maybe you could just use some streams in here uh, to simplify this, but that's all good. And then get Best Buy. So I guess you're using Best Buy, nice. And cool, maybe REST template is now deprecated. Use OpenFate, this is what I was mentioning before, but all in all, that's kind of cool. Um, this again, it's a scheduled task. Is this what one one set every second? Probably yes. And then, what is this? This is used basically to populate the list somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So you actually you are you actually keeping this in memory, and then if it dies, then probably probably not the best approach. But and then here you've got all the keys and whatnot. So maybe because you are using the environment. Uh, yeah, you could maybe just have a a class which contains all of your configuration. So I think it's much neater, but all in all, all good, man. So good stuff. And obviously this should be injected uh, in the constructor so that you can test this properly. Uh, stock, let's have a look. Stock, CSV binding position. I've never done anything like that, to be honest. So two string, I think, I think this is clean. But obviously, you are missing tests, and I'm not happy about it. And to be honest, I think this is it. Uh, guys, have a look. So we went through three people already. 
So obviously, sorry, uh, insane penguin. <laughs> you got your picture here. Um, Crypto Sing, Murad, Cade. We also have uh, Omorui, Omo Fuanhan. Sorry if I if yeah sorry to <laughs> mispronounce your name. Uh, and then we have Murilo, Murad, and also Natik. So I think this maybe should be a second or maybe three part series. And let me know what you thought about this video. As I said, like join the community because this community is awesome. People are engaged. Uh, Timur and uh, Sami have done massive work on this community and you should be part of it. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up so I can keep on bringing you awesome content like this. Uh, subscribe, join the community. Check out the courses on the website. And this is all for now. I'll catch you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.